On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator, an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. People of Epcot, Epcotters, Epcotians, citizens of Epcot, does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on? Someone needs to tell me what I'm on. Welcome, Epcot Terrans. I am Centurion Tau Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. Mm -hmm. I am very serious about this. Now, please step forward into the chamber. You're gonna love this. Well, that doesn't sound good. Your 
It's an honorary title. They're not coming with us. I see. It is meaningless. Well, then welcome to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, where's that cake toast?
Let's see how your designs hold up now. Commencing oh, no, oh, no. sim car off road in extreme weather strength. See how your vehicles compare when it comes to their efficiency. salad with with a uh, chicken I think yep. it's good and I got the meatball pizza and I don't know what mom got but that but it is it is small looks like some sort of like I don't know like a some sort of bow on like a I don't know cuties and coleslaw Fish are friends, not food. Just remember that. I like how everything how it looks like like you're walking at a boardwalk at nighttime. Also look Fish are friends, not food. Right. Dad says depends on the fish, of course. Ooh. Monorail. Check out the ceiling. Also, just look at the check out the floor.
your family and stuff. Take a question. Who else is a question, man? Got a friend over here. This dude's got a green shell like me and a multicolored lid. Let's talk to the lid, kid. Bro, what's your name, man? Max. Maximum. What's your question, Max? Do, do turtles breathe through their butt? <laughs> That's humans, Max. Because, <laughs> Max, have you ever, like, gone in water and hung out underwater with a human? No. Oh, well, I see them all the time, and they're like, hey, what's up, Crush? And I'm like, hey, dudes. And then they're like, hey, Crush, can I ask you a question? Because sometimes. <laughs> I've noticed something. Oh, dude, that wasn't me. That was Max. Man. Raise your fist. Whoa, dude, we got a friend down low on this side. This one's got like a little white shell, little blonde noggin chilling on the coast. Hey, dude, what's your name, little dude? Hey, what's your question, awesomeness? Oh, check it out, bud. Probably gonna be the oldest turtle you know, my friend Ellie. We average 80 to 90, but I'm way above the average. 150. Still young. Look at this, dudes. Washboard. <laughs> Who else is in question, man? Whoa, dude. Hey, check this out, man. We got a friend on the back bench. It looks like a totally white shell. Brown yeah, shell. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. hey, bud. Hey, Crush. What's your name back there, dude? My name's Mariel. Hey, um, Mariel. What's I wanted to what's ask you, uh, my favorite food is sushi. I was wondering, do you like sushi? Oh, no, but hang on a second. Dudes, get out of here. Go. Go. <laughs> You gotta swim faster, Marion's gonna catch you, dudes. <laughs> no way, Marion, I'm a veggie, man. No, I totally only eat the green sea grass and the green sea cup, and that's what gives me my green sea color, dude. In fact, I'm green, wife's green, parentals are green, my offspring are green, and my favorite color is purple. He's <laughs> <laughs> pulling your fin, it's green. Oh, heck, I'm just pulling Marion's fin, no biggie, man. I'm playing games with humans, dude. Games, games. <laughs>
Mars in California. Young people with a passion for of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser known tropical plants may be as important as the banana yeah, growing on both sides of the boat are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. Restaurants around Walt Disney World. In the 
organizations like this one can play an important role in our efforts to produce bountiful harvests. Hey, Mickey. Most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. While more efficient Peppers. using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By Tomato tree. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. Hey, ready for ready for soaring? Me? Yeah. Um, veggies. It's only a 25 minute wait for our soaring.